So I scoured the internet looking for the world's worst tattoos, and here's what I found. This is World's Worst Tattoos number 58. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? So first of all, in my last World's Worst Tattoo video, I showed this guy's tattoo. His entire face is covered, and I was like, holy shit, his eyeball is pierced closed. But then one of you fans sent me another picture, a more updated picture of this guy, and it looks like he doesn't even have a fucking eyeball. So I'm sorry, the eyeball being pierced closed, it makes a lot of sense now. I still don't know why you didn't tattoo that little spot on your forehead or your nose, but hey, at least the eyeball piercing makes sense. What doesn't make sense is what this guy did to his face, but you know, this is world's worst tattoo, so we'll, maybe we'll do like a world's worst body modifications, get into that one later. Now I just wanna know what the fuck happened to his eyeball. Oh, here is a great tattoo. This is Hank Hill dressed as Sailor Moon in a heart. I don't know what possessed this person to get a Sailor Moon Hank Hill tattoo. Well, I guess their favorite TV show is King of the Hill and Sailor Moon, and they're like, how can I put this together? Or maybe they just saw this picture on the internet and said, fuck it. That's the tattoo I want. Here's a little known fact about Hank Hill. His biggest fetish is to dress up like Sailor Moon and have sex with propane tanks. He gets his little narrow penis right in there. Oh yeah. That forehead tat. Mary's a slut. And he's apparently part of Satan's cult and a devil's child. And you know what? This guy scares the shit out of me. So that is a great tattoo. Why wouldn't you want to shame a woman on your forehead for the rest of your life? It makes so much sense. Here's a guy that took a mole on the back of his head and actually turned it into something pretty cool. That's a pretty clever tattoo. Honestly, I like that one. What I don't like is when someone does this on their forehead. Are you kidding me? Oh, why? Why would you do that? You got the Nike swoosh on one eyebrow and a deformed basketball player on the other. She thinks it looks good. Look at the look on her face. She thinks it looks good. She's like, this is the best choice I have ever made in my entire life. I will definitely never regret this. It's not a good look for anyone. You should never have a basketball player tattooed on your forehead. Here's what looks like Jesus with a flying dick next to him. They're pretty well done detailed tattoos. Holy shit though, Jesus, close your mouth, there's dicks flying around your head, that's dangerous. I don't know if this tattoo was supposed to look like an elephant, or if they wanted the elephant's trunk to look like an uncircumcised penis. If they wanted that trunk to look like an uncircumcised penis, they did great. If they wanted it to look like an elephant, I'm sorry, you got a dick tattooed on you. Ooh, Mr. Teapot! <laughs> okay, that one's good. I have nothing bad to say about this one. That one is clever. My penis is so, so big. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Look at that thing though. That is a, f if your penis is that big, you're fucked. Nobody wants a penis that big. Come on, if you can sling your penis over your shoulder, well, look at it this way. You'll never need a belt. You just wrap that thing around your waist. But if you ever get a boner, you'll die because all of the blood in your body will rush into your penis and you'll just lose brain function. You'll shrivel up like a raisin and die. Tripping over that thing, you're like trying to tuck it up, but you keep poking yourself in the face. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, motherfucker. I think you're supposed to end prayers with amen not motherfucker. But I'd probably pray a lot more if I could end all my prayers with motherfucker. You know, like, thank you, God, for this food that you put on our table. Thank you for my family being healthy. Amen, motherfucker. I want to just thank you for the food. Thank you, God, for the food. Can you tell I never prayer? Like, these are the, these are the prayers. Thank you, God, for the food that you put on our table in front of us. And thank you for helping our family stay healthy, motherfucker. And finally, a dude having sex with the world. Well, the hole in the ozone layer makes a lot more sense now. Is this like a metaphor? Fuck the world. Actually, what country is this dude having sex with? Because there's a big hole in my backyard and it smells like semen. And I've been swimming in there. So thanks for watching my World's Worst Tattoos video. If you're still enjoying these videos, hit the like button down below, leave a comment down below, give me some feedback. Also check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Anything you can pledge helps me out a lot and helps me keep producing this 
content that I love to produce. I will be doing my live stream over on Patreon pretty soon, probably within the next week or so. I'll let you know for sure over on Patreon when I'm doing it. I'll also let you guys know at the end of a video if you want to get in on it. We'll do a Q&A. I'll see if I can get some of my friends to join me or something like that. We'll make it fun. And I want to thank everyone again who is pledging over on Patreon. You guys are helping me out huge. Other than that, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like my pretty face and my pretty teeth and my beautiful shit brown eyes. Boop.